Hey everybody, I'm Michael Horton, co-founder and CEO here at Slate. And today I'm gonna to talk to you about our newest feature, templates. Uh, and specifically, I'm gonna tell you how to set up your Photoshop files in a way that you can just easily upload them into Slate to convert them into easy to use templates right in your Slate app. So first, just quickly looking over here at the Slate web app, you'll see this new tab over here on the left that says templates. This is where you'll go and you'll upload these Photoshop files to convert them into usable templates within Slate. All this is, is just a Photoshop file that I've uploaded into Slate. And now when I open this in Slate, I'm gonna be able to edit these text boxes like this 000 or halftime or the name. I'm gonna be able to edit these text box right in the Slate app uh, without having to mess with the color or the sizing or the placement or the font or anything. It's all gonna be locked into place. So it's gonna be very easy for me to create something like a score graphic, like a quote graphic, just using these Photoshop templates. But there are a couple things that you're gonna to wanna to keep in mind when you're creating these Photoshop files or converting the Photoshop files you already have into a file to upload and use as a Slate template. So if we take a look here at Photoshop, the first thing I wanna call out is you're gonna to wanna to make sure that your dimensions are set correctly. So the Photoshop file should be one of the four acceptable dimensions for Slate, which are nine by 16, 16 by nine, four by five, and one by one. Um, so you're gonna wanna make sure that it's one of those four dimensions. You also are gonna wanna make sure that you only have one artboard. If you are using artboards or multiple artboards within your Photoshop file, you're gonna wanna convert those into separate Photoshop files because each PSD that you upload can only have one artboard. PSDs with multiple artboards are not supported in this version of Slate templates. The next thing worth calling out here is when you create these Photoshop files for uh, Slate templates, you're gonna wanna set them up similarly to how you would set up a template. So you want that transparent space, almost like a window where your media is gonna live if of course you want media to be a part of this template. Um, so the template is gonna live on top of your media, just like a filter does once you apply that in the Slate mobile app. So you're gonna to wanna to have a transparent background or a transparent space for that media to, to go into. So if you have your Photoshop files set up where you just have media that you replace that's on top of like a solid background or some sort of mask going on, you're gonna to wanna to switch that up a little bit to have that transparent set up for that to work in Slate. So just like I mentioned, this first version of Slate templates um, every text layer in this Photoshop file is going to, by default, be editable in Slate. But there are a couple things you're going to want to keep in mind. The first thing is whatever font is being used for this text layer, you're going to need to have that font in your Slate app uploaded as well. So make sure that the fonts you're using in the Photoshop file are already also in uh, your Slate brand dashboard. The second thing you're going to want to make sure is is that these font layers don't have any special effects added to them. So if you have some sort of drop shadows or um, overlays, color overlays or texture overlays, those are not gonna appear once you open this in Slate. So you might as well try to set up your Photoshop files in a way that you're not making use of any of those effects on your text layers or on your media layers or graphic layers, because any effects like that will not show up or be rendered out once you open this template in Slate. And then the last thing to call out is, you know, around those text layers is you're also gonna wanna make sure that you don't have any custom tracking or letting sort of line height or kerning set up. By default, um, the text layers are not gonna show any sort of custom line height or kerning adjustments yet in this first version of templates. We are looking to improve that for you know our next release, our update to templates in a couple of weeks. But for this first version, we are not supporting custom kerning or line heights. So when you go in to set up your Photoshop files here, another thing you're gonna to wanna to make sure is that you're gonna want every text box to have the maximum possible width uh, in, you know, placeholder in this Photoshop file. So what I mean by that is if this was a basketball score, for instance, I wouldn't want this layer to say like 97, 
because if I uploaded that as my template and then I tried to input a three digit score, like 120, um, that last digit would break down onto the next line. So we wanna make sure that every text box has the maximum possible width of uh, input as the placeholder text in that template. Same for names or halftime, you know, I wouldn't want to put like, you know, Q1 up here or 1Q or whatever. Um, I'd wanna make sure that every text box is as wide as I possibly need that space to be. And same with quotes as well. So for quotes, that works really well because you want the quote to, to go this, you know, sort of max width and then break into the next line. Um, another thing to call out, like I mentioned earlier, is by default, every text box is going to be editable when you open that in Slate. So if you want, if you have a text box like this where it says quote of the week, but you that's really just part of the design, that's not a, something that you want to be editable by your team, it's better to just go ahead and rasterize that layer, you know, so just, I've already done it here in this one, but if you just right click and go um, rasterize type, you know, now this text box is not going to be an editable element in the slate template. It's just going to appear as part of the design. Um, that's really it as far as setting up your Photoshop file. So once it's set up, all you have to do is just go in here. You can drag and drop your file directly into this template section on your slate web app. That's going to process for a moment. And then once it is, you know, you can open it up, you can add your, your name, your search terms, and then you'll be able to open up that graphic. Once you publish, publish out your changes here, you're going to be open to open up that template and use that right in your slate mobile app. And we have a whole nother video that's explaining how to use templates properly in the slate mobile app. So go check that one out if you haven't already and let us know if you have any questions. Thank you.